Floro, based on your son's result, there's nothing this hospital can do for him. But father, I want to live. There has to be something we can do. In 1984, Bioprint was invented by Charles Hull, who invented the stereolithography. Then in 1996, Dr. Gabriel Forgabs observed that cells stick together during the embryonic development. Not until 2004 did Dr. Forgax develop new tissue technology to engineer 3D tissue with only cells, no scaffolds. And today we, we have small scale tissues for drug testing. Hey, what are you reading? Oh, I'm reading a book on bioprinting. What's that? You don't know what bioprinting is. No. So let's read the definition together. Um, bioprinting is the selective disposition of bio inks of bioactive components, including proteins, DNA, hormones, ECR molecules, and synthetic biopolymers. So what does that mean? Um, okay, let me dumb it down. Um, <laughs> it's the robotic additive biofabrication that has the potential to build organs or viable tissues. Mm -hmm. Interesting. The main material in bio ink is hydrogel. Current day hydrogels are difficult to handle. This means that there are several factors that affect the way the hydrogel is produced. Some of these factors include the solvent used, fluid viscosity, the density, temperature, the solvent temperature fluid surface interaction, the polymer concentration. For example, if you change one variable in hydrogel, such as the temperature, you have to fix the other properties of hydrogel as well. A temperature sensitive hydrogel, such as collagen, will begin to polymerize and inversely create viscosity as the temperature increases. Also, you have to be able to identify all the proper properties of hydrogel that are necessary to bring certain organs. In summary, the viscosity, surface temperature, and density of the bio ink used in these systems are limited by the process requirement, and that caused restriction on sets of the ECM molecules that would be used. As we learned in MSC this year, the structure of material is very important to its overall properties. Human organs are complicated, naturally created structures. Because of this, the structure of bioprinted organs and the material used to create them is also very important. The hydrogen material is printed layer by layer upon itself. Because of this, it must be able to provide structures, structural support. The hydrogel consists mainly of cultured cells. Because of this, the structure of hydrogel itself is highly simple and not as important as the structure of the final printed product. The required structure of the printed organs requires specific properties of the hydrogel. To start, the hydrogel is viscous, which gives structural support and allows the final product to not fall apart. Further, the hydrogel must be able to symbiotically live within the human body. If not, the human body will reject the printed organ and provide further complications to the patient. Finally, the hydrogel must be able to be heat resistant since it'll be in an environment that is consistently 100 degrees Fahrenheit for its entire life. Um, also what we learned in MSC is the process is important to determine the properties and structures of the material. And hydrogel is basically prepared by swelling cross link structures in water. There are many methods to create hydrogel. I've researched the one called photopolymerization. It is used to excite a polymer and produce a cross link structure. It converts to liquid resin into a insoluble polymer material. It uses ir irradiation of a light source. Um, it is a very low operating cost and it takes less than a second to create. The main benefit that comes from the production of hydrogel would be that lives would be saved. The waiting list for organ transplants would eventually become non-existent. Because the properties of hydrogel can be altered, they can match up with someone's DNA perfectly. Because of this, donors should no longer be needed and eventually, everybody would be able to live longer and happier lives. Current research is being considered for the optimization of hydrogel. Uh, future research is showing that blo block copolymers of PUG 
in jail by exposure to long wavelength light. Uh, you be like, what was the other? Roll the roll it off in a coating of tissues with hydrogel film, forcing a non-adhesive barrier at the free surface. This will highly affect in reducing post-operative adhesion in the models. In bioprinting short 30 year history, there's been many strides to um, further um, bioprinting and also um, through the process, the new process in making hydrogel, soon we'll be able to um, print complete organs. The material hydrogel pertains to our MSc class from this semester in that the structure, properties, and processing are all very important in the final product. Some factors that need to be considered when, hydro, when printing hydrogel are the solvent involved, the surface tension, the humidity, and many more. These factors seem to be ideal for each hydrogel for certain organs. Once we were able to overcome all the limitations that you just listed for taking hydrogel, hopefully we will be able to print organs specialized for each person. With a few process of bioprinting, we'll be able to build you a heart. Yay!